Hello everyone, welcome back to Shabes Online Tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to find the mean and the variance of a Poisson distribution using probability generating function. So let's get started. The next thing we are going to do is to write the distribution of a Poisson. And the Poisson X is distributed into the P sub OJ into the parameter lambda. And the probability of X is equal to X, which is the same as what? Is the same as lambda to power x e raised to the power of minus lambda all over what x factorial and x is raised from the 0 1 2 then up to n so this is the probability function of a poison distribution so the next thing we're going to do you know if you are calculating probability generating function using generating function is going to be denoted as what g of s sub x which is equal to what Summation as x raises from 0 to n, x raised to power x, then multiply by probability of x is equal to x. And it's clearly stated from up that the probability of x is equal to x is the same as the distribution function of a Poisson distribution. So now we're going to substitute into this. So g of sub x of x, which is equal to our summation as x raises from 0 to n, x raised to power to the power of x and the probability of x is equal to x the same as well, lambda to power x e raised to the power of minus lambda all over what x factorial so the next thing we're going to do is to simplify this we're going to have what g sub x of s which is the same as what summation as x raises from 0 to n we have s and lambda here and they are, their power are the same so we can multiply the base together so s multiplied by lambda is going to give us lambda s, then all raised to the power of x. So we're going to write one power since their power are the same. Then e raised to the power of what minus lambda all over what x factorial. So the next thing we're going to do is to take this e raised to the power of minus lambda out. So we're going to have what g sub x of s is equal to what? We take e raised to the power of minus lambda out, then summation as s raises from 0 to n it will remain what lambda x raised to the power of x all over what x factorial so now what we are going to do is to take the summation of this and remember x is raised from 0 to n so we're going to have what g sub x of x which is equal to what e raised to the power of minus lambda into what if you take at s is equal to 0 when you substitute 0 here any number raised to the power of 0 is 1 then x factorial is the same as 0 factorial which is equal to 1 then 1 divided by 1 is the same as 1 remember we are taking the summation then plus at x is equal to 2 it's equal to 1 rather when you substitute 1 here so we're going to have a lambda x raised to the power of 1 is the same as lambda x then 1 factorial is the same as 1 so if you divide lambda x by 1 we're still going to get the same thing then plus what at x is equal to 2 we're going to have what lambda s square over what Lambda x all square all over 2 factorial then plus lambda x all to power 3 all over 3 factorial plus on, so on to, down to what in, at x is equal to n. We are going to recall that recall when you have e raised to the power of x s is the same as what is the same as 1 plus what 1 plus x s plus x x all square over 2 factorial plus x s all to power 3 all over 3 factorial and so on so if this is the same as this therefore e raised to the power of lambda s is also the same as what 1 plus lambda x plus lambda x all square over 2 factorial plus lambda x all to power 3 all over 3 factorial and so on so if this if we recall this to be this then therefore definitely this is going to be equal to this and what do we notice we notice that inside this bracket here is the same as this bracket therefore we can call the whole of this as well lambda to the raised to the power of e raised to the power of lambda x so therefore g therefore g sub x of x now will be equal to e raised to the power of minus lambda the, the whole of this is going to be what e raised to the power of lambda x 
Now, the next thing we're going to do is to simplify this. Now, that s sub x is the same as what? When you multiply the same, then what do we do? We write one of the base, then we add the two power. Minus lambda plus lambda s. So this is the generating function of a Poisson distribution. So what do we do? What we, are we asked to find? We are asked to find the mean and the variance. Now we are going to find the mean. And to get the mean, so we have already find g sub x of x to be what? e raised to the power of minus lambda plus lambda square. And we are, to get the mean, which is the expected value of s, is going to be what? g of s sub x at first derivative. Which means that we are going to differentiate this once, then we substitute as s is equal to 1. So let's do that. We are going to differentiate with respect to lambda. So if we differentiate this with respect to lambda, we are going to have lambda into minus e raised to the power of minus lambda plus lambda s. So at g, sub, g of s sub x, at x is equal to 1. So at first derivative at s is equal to 1, which implies that anywhere we see s, we are going to substitute 1, which is going to be lambda e raised to the power of minus lambda plus lambda. So if you put 1 here, it's going to be remain only lambda. So which means that e lambda multiplied by e raised to the power of minus lambda plus lambda is going to be 0. And e raised to the power of 0 is the same as 1. So therefore, the whole of this is going to be 1. And 1 multiplied by lambda is the same as lambda. So therefore, the mean is equal to lambda. So the next thing we are going to look at what is the variance. And the variance is what? G as second derivative of x is equal to 1 sub x plus what? G as first derivative of s is equal to 1 sub x minus G as first derivative of what? x is equal to 1 sub x then all to the power of 2 and from here we notice that we have find g as first derivative so the next thing we're going to look at what is g as second derivative so we're going to look at what g as second derivative of x of s which is the same as we are going to redifferentiate this function twice then if we differentiate it anything it gives us then we substitute that s is equal to 1 is going to be our g at second derivative which is what the expected value of x squared so if you differentiate this with respect to lambda lambda multiplied by lambda multiply where differential respect that is going to give us lambda square then we copy everything e raised to the power of minus lambda plus lambda x then we substitute at s is equal to one at s is equal to one which is going to be what lambda square e raised to the power of minus lambda if you substitute one here is going to be what remain only lambda so g at second derivative of x of s is equal to one is the same as what lambda square so when you substitute you know minus lambda plus lambda is zero e raised to the power of zero is the same as one therefore the second derivative is lambda square now it's very easy we're going to find the variance now so therefore the variance of x is equal to what g at second derivative is what lambda square plus g at first derivative is what lambda then minus g at first derivative is lambda but remember it's all square so we have positive lambda square here we have negative lambda square here so this and this can cancel therefore the variance of x now will be equal to what lambda so this is the variance of x which is equal to lambda and the mean is also lambda so this is how to use probability generating function to find the mean and the variance of a web of a poison distribution. Thank you for watching and please follow and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks.